Hello everyone and welcome back to this tutorial on using Google Forms for testing your classroom. Uh, as always, this is Aaron. So today, this one's going to be pretty short. Um, basically, I'm going to show you how to access your Go uh, test in Google Forms and actually post it to your students through Edmodo. Um, at our high school, we use Edmodo for pretty much everything. Um, and so being able to deliver the test to your students through Edmodo very important. So you will want to pull up your Google Drive and locate the test wherever you saved it. So remember I said that you want to save it in the typically the subject that you are going to be creating it for. So if it was US history or world studies or government uh, you know, wherever the uh, I created the test in the first place, that's where I would go. Um, but for this example, I created it in here. Now you'll see typically, after you get done creating it, you'll see two options. There's the Google Forms tutorial, so this is the test. And then there's also one labeled Responses. Uh, we'll get to this in a different tutorial a little bit later and show you why that, was, that one is important, but for right now, you want to go to the one that is uh, not the responses. So you'll click on that. And you see this is the test that we, we created in the last video. And from here there's a couple of things that you need to take note of. Number one, the requirement for an Indian Valley Schools login to view this form, that's not required, but for our school, I typically like to have that checked. The other two aren't as important. Uh, automatically correct, collect the respondent's username. They're already going to be putting their name in here, so that's not a big deal. Uh, show the progress bar at the bottom of form pages. You can go ahead and click on that. It just kind of gives them an idea of how much is left, how much they've already done. So, uh, a couple other things that you want to take note of right here accepting responses if you want to close off this test to make sure that the students are not gonna have access to this ahead of time you can actually click on this and it'll actually say not accepting responses and you can actually make this message right here anything that you want you can say it's no longer accepting responses or you can say that uh, you know it's not test time yet check back later whatever you want and whenever the students would maybe try to access it if you're waiting to for a certain point in the class period for them to be able to access the test it will show this until you come back in here and click on this option again and when you do that it goes back to normal so how do you actually get this test to the students um, quite simple you actually just click on the option here to view live form and here's the same form that we looked at before so you will go up to the address bar up here at the top click once hit control C to copy and then you will open up your Edmodo and all of your groups are going to be over here on the left hand side so whichever class period you're wanting to uh, assign the test to we'll just say that it's government Now this is the point where some people get confused. Since this is not a test created in Edmodo, you are um, basically just going to type it in as a note. So we'll say uh, Google Forms Tutorial Test. Please take now. Now from there you're not done. You need to come down here to this little chain right here where it says link. You need to click on that once and in this box you will hit control V. That is the link to the form that we just created and you'll click on this title of the web page once and it will actually retrieve the site for you so this says sign in Google accounts you can leave that be you can change it if you want but you simply just go ahead and hit attach and there it is and then you would click send. 
All right, it's that simple, guys, to actually create the test and post it into Edmodo. Um, I'm going to stop this one here, and next time I'm going to show you what it's going to look like when the students take the test, and also how you are going to be grading these things. So, uh, I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed. So, uh, as usual, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day, and we'll catch you the next time.